So, once you've selected your visualization method for your data, the process of creating the data visualization begins. I'll illustrate this process using a live project that I've created earlier. First, I would create pencil sketches or black and white simple concept explorations showing the visualization method I'd use and show how this would be laid out in the format that I was designing for. I wouldn't be using any live data at this point in the process. Next, I'd take the pencil sketches and work to create the visualization or design in the same style but using real data. This stage might not look very pretty and it might be quite rough, but I would begin to see how well the visualization method actually suited the data and would begin exploring how to use form, placement, color, and so on to make sure that I was drawing the viewer's attention to the most important parts of the visualization. Once I felt that I had ensured that the visualization was calibrated and designed to ensure my editorial focus was communicated to the audience, I'd begin to design the other aspects of the data visualization, focusing on annotations, the design hierarchy, and so on, ensuring that I was providing the user or viewer with everything that they needed to clearly interpret and understand the data visualization. In the final stage, I'd begin to make more of the traditional design decisions, selecting an appropriate color palette, refining the typeface, neatly polishing the design and fine-tuning the design details. I say this aspect for last because as we've mentioned before, the data informs the design. I don't worry about the final aesthetic details until I know for sure that the data has been properly visualized. I've added a bunch of behind-the-scenes stories about how famous organizations such as the New York Times create their data visualizations and much more in the resources below, so have a look.